Hey friends, it is Friday, savings challenge stopping day. Uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> I absolutely love doing this one. We have a good amount of cash. Obviously, you see a hundo, but you also see a lot of $1 bills. <laughs> so, we all know most of it's going to this. However, we are going to do our state fair book and we are going to finish up a couple of our challenges and I'm super excited. But first I want to show you some new printables that I got. Um, I just, I've been shopping a little bit, um, mostly printables lately. There's some really good deals out there and printables are a great affordable way to do savings challenges. So this first one is from Nita over at the Almost Organized Owl. She goes by Owl Save Wisely on Etsy. I'll link it below. I saw this for 2024 and thought it was such a cool idea. It's split up by seasons. And so you have winter, spring, summer, fall, and then you have little buckets here. And when it's all done, it'll be $2,024 in 2024. So super cool. Obviously I am doing the one from Madeline Budgets <laughs> for 2023. She does have a 2024 version as well. And I just love the creativity. Um, next up is one from Nikki's Financial Journey. Um, she was Nikki Budgets, um, Nikki with two eyes. <laughs> but she is recently um, going through some stuff where her stove is not working. And so she's saving up money to get a new stove. Um, and so I just wanted to support her. I want to show this challenge. If anyone is looking to save up for home appliances or emergency fund, um, she has some other challenges as well. She's currently doing like an Instagram shop or something like that, but you can just message her on Instagram um, if you're interested in any of her printables. But I want to make sure I shouted her out. She's super, super sweet. All right, this one is from Veronica over at 40 Plus Life. She's currently doing 50% off on her printables and on Etsy, and it's such a good deal. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to buy these. Um, she has this Christi Christmas savings bundle. So one of them has um, denominations chosen for you to save $600, doing $20 for each circle and $10 for each star. But she also gives you a version where it's not filled in and you can pick your budget. And I just think it's super cute. You just color in the things and go up the tree. <laughs> And I honestly, who doesn't love Veronica and 50% off, like, oh, by the time you're watching this, it may not be on sale anymore, but it was at the time of filming, which is July 27th. <laughs> Her birthday is in July. So my guess is it's going to run through July. So August 1st, it may not be on sale. All right. This next one is the tree of life bundle. Reinventing Renee has been doing this one. Um, she is doing it where she's putting scratch off stickers on top of it so she can use it twice by then scratching it off. <laughs> I was like, that's really smart. Or you can just color it in. It doesn't matter. And then she also gives one that's blank. So you can pick your denominations if you don't want to save the $250. And then oh, Renee, this is the reason like Renee has been doing this one and she's coloring in teal for each of these. And it is looking so cool. I wanted to be like Renee. Okay. <laughs> I just love it. Ugh. Okay. And then this last bundle is what I bought from Sisters on a Budget. Now, this first one is going to freak you guys out. <laughs> Trust me. I was like, mm, do I want to buy this one or not? And then I was like, you know, it's super cute. I have some big lofty goals. So why not? <laughs> so I bought it and it's this, it's a B one. It's a $10,000 bi-weekly. So every paycheck you're going to do one of these circles. They have you going in an order, but you could go rogue if you want to. And right now this is just printed on pr printer paper, but I'll probably put it on cardstock. Um, but it's so cute. It's just $138 for that paycheck, $100 for that paycheck. Like every two weeks, you're going to save a certain amount of money. Now, some of them are really high, some are really low, but I have some goals for like saving up for a new car. So next year, because I'm already starting to think of 2024, I might use this challenge. Now, will I save $10,000? I don't know if I would be able to do that, but I will try to get as far as I can. And then if it carries into 2025, that's fine. You don't have to finish these in a certain time frame. I just think it's so cute. 
<laughs> All right. And then two sisters or sisters on a budget also had this I Spy Winter, which I thought was cute. You'd save um, a dollar amount. And then they say to like, say I want to do this Christmas tree. I would count how many trees I find and I would take that number and times it by the dollar amount. And then the highest amount you'll pay is $24. But I think I might just save $2 here, $3 here, depending on what I find. Like you can make these challenges what you want them to be. And then this last one was a little A6 one. I just think it's so cute. Merry and bright. Can you tell I'm like planning for a certain holiday next year? Um, but a dollar for each of these letters. It's a very low income, $65. I love the ones where you get instant wins. Um, and it's just so cute. These bulbs with the faces. I just, <laughs> that's what sold me. They're just so cute. So I just want to show you guys some printables that are out there. That's all. Let's get into stuffing. <laughs> right, so today I have to work with 100, which I don't normally have a hundred dollar bill. 20, 20, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, so I have $245 to work with. However, 105 of that is going towards my Save 2023 in 2023 challenge. Uh, this is from Madeline Budgets. Oh, she just had the, I just showed you guys my scratch offs that I got from her from Romania, which I think is so cool. Uh, I think she's working on restocking because she sold out for now, which, uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, but I can't wait for more to come because so many of you guys wanted them and they sold out so fast. All right, so let's add in the $106. I'm going to color in these two just to confirm with you guys. This is $106, which I only put $105, $106. Yeah, 59 plus 47. Yep, that's a six, Tracy. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Bob. All right, let's get these colored. We are done with our row for July. So I am doing this challenge where each row is a month. And so March, April, May, June, July. So we have August and September left. Um, I'm going to loop this bottom one into September. Uh, $106 is going into our envelope today. I have a $1,000 woodpecker placeholder. <laughs> Thank you, Ren. Uh, yes. Update on my woodpecker situation. We, our neighbors had some work done at their house. And so the woodpeckers kind of went away for a while. And then when they came back, it was like a family of woodpeckers. We saw um, children, woodpeckers, whatever you want to call them, babies. But it didn't look like a baby. It was like a child, teenager size woodpecker. Um, and back to the annoying pecking on the window. They did that for about three days. And now it's been quiet again. So I obviously don't know <laughs> enough about woodpeckers and their lifestyle, but I don't know. We're just waiting for them to come back again. Like we've lost hope that like they've moved on, found a different territory because they keep coming back. <laughs> All right. So 1,100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So we have 1,300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1400, and 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1444. <laughs> That's a very specific even number there. <laughs> 1444 is saved so far. So we are getting close. So close. Okay, this one is done. <sighs> Let's move on to my nieces and nephew. We are going to finish this one today. I am putting in the last $10. We will have officially $120 saved to go into my nieces and nephew binder. I could not be more excited for this. <laughs> like, truly, honestly. All right, let's do a little teal bike here. And add in our $10. I should probably. 
So 20. Oh boy, I have a lot of fives. Let's do the two fives in there. And all these are ones. All right, so we should have $120 saved. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. $120 is going into my niece and nephew binder. If you are new to my channel, you have not seen this binder because I have not done it in forever, forever, but I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so we are going to paperclip this together. And I was watching stuff over at Mama Bear and budget with Mama Bear and she pulled out this folder and I was like, I do the same thing. I take my finished ones and they go into this just zipper pouch sinking funds because once savings challenges are done they go to my sinking funds and I was like oh, twins <laughs> oh, so now I get to do a new challenge in here um, I am trying to get through as much as my savings challenges as possible I want to switch to an a5 binder so I actually may not refill that one because the quicker I can get through these the quicker ooh, um, I can get to a new a5 binder size <laughs> it's just going to give me so much more room all right we owe five dollars to this so let's get that iou done <sighs> that was for my state fair savings so we got to pay that up first and we are going to come back to that one but i want to do a couple others first because <sighs> i'm trying to prioritize things okay so I want to get this dino dig done. I absolutely love this challenge. It is from Elisha over at Hands and Bands. I love Elisha. <laughs> she makes me laugh. Um, but I want this money. So anytime a sinking, uh, a savings challenge is done, I get to put it into a sinking fund. And I want money for my sinking fund. So I have this awesome Jeep sticker because it reminds me of Jurassic Park. <laughs> It was so funny. She sent me a message the other day because her and I chat outside of YouTube. And she did like the Jurassic Park theme song. And I was like, ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay. And 10. Okay. So I owe $10. But I might, I'm going to finish. I'm just going to go all in and I'm going to finish this one. 15. Because I have this stack, right? If I do 20, I can take a 5 out. And then we, that's 15 in there. 5. Okay, that's a nice little number. Oh, okay. I, I was like, I barely had 5s before. And now I've, okay, I've only hit one 5. <laughs> Another 5. Okay, this is where the sweet spot was on this side. I should have started on the left side. All right, 10. So we owe $10. Let's take this last 20 and we'll take the two fives out. And is this our last one? Oh, is that really it? Like I really did it all? What? Cool. <laughs> that was way quicker than I thought it would. Okay. But how cool. I just, oh, I hope you guys are buying this one because it might be one of my favorites of hers. <laughs> I love a lot of her challenges. All right. So today we put in $45. Now she says it should add up to $125. Let's see if we did this right. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. Yay. Dino dig is done. <laughs> that was so dumb. Uh, I don't know. My brain. Okay. So we're going to put it in our little folder here. <laughs> Normally I set that aside, but then once Steph showed it, I was like, I should show myself sticky the end of my thing. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's finish up this one as well. I... I told you guys, I'm on a mission to finish up challenges in this binder. I want to switch to an A5 so bad. Okay. $5. $5 foot long. They're not $5 anymore, I don't think. $1. $10. Okay, that was a beefy. Got to pay to play. Last one. One dollar. 
Well, that was nice. 10, 10, 1, 1. Well, golly gee. All right, so this should be $50 total. So let's grab our money. This is, we should have $50. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yay! And this is from Kiera over at Budget and Grow. It is so cute. I have her rainy day one too, which oh, I think is my favorite one, but I wanted to do this one first. <laughs> But it's so good. Ah, we get to put another one in the binder, in the baggie. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we need to get to some of the beefier ones. I need to do the state fair, but I have to do this taco. I am determined to finish this one. We are over halfway done, and I want this one done. This is from the Secret Budgeter. It's a four hundred and twenty dollars scratch up, so it is a lot and. I just, I want that money. <laughs> just plain and simple, I want the money. One. Really? I couldn't get the one dollar on the day when I had no money? And I, whatever. <laughs> Gonna yell at these tacos all day long. Whoopsies. There we go. Seven. Well, golly gee, if we just keep with these low numbers... <laughs> <laughs> I won't feel so bad. Two. Okay. What is going on today? Oh, I feel like that means there's like really big numbers in here too. I bet this is a big one because it's like surrounded by little numbers. 13. It's not nasty. <laughs> Did anyone start singing the Janet Jackson nasty song in their head? <laughs> I sure did. Okay, we're going to stop there. Because I feel like we've given this a good amount today. Although we didn't. But we did. <laughs> okay. We need state fair money. We need state fair money. Tracy, don't keep stretching because we need state fair money. Got it. All right, so today I'm putting 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. $23 into this one. Our Minnesota State Fair is at the end of the month, and so I need to start saving for that a little bit more aggressively. Our goal is to have $200. However, we are going with some friends, and if I could get more money, that would be even better, but we'll see. 200 is like the baseline of what I want. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 25, 35, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one. So two hundred and fifty-one dollars is in here so far. I kind of want to do one more. <laughs> and you're like, no, Tracy, you wanted to do state fair money. I you know. What do we have left? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-nine dollars. Okay, we're gonna stop. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, let's go to my state fair one. Well, I want to keep this one going too. We're going to do one little scratch Rooney from my friend Reinventing Renee. So I showed this in a happy mail. Renee sent me a prototype of her small accomplishments and she did them double sided. She ended up switching to a laminated version with the cool budget nerd logo on the back. So this is the official version of her small accomplishments challenge. It's awesome. They're 15, 25, 35. They're all low numbers and I love that. Um, it comes as a set where she actually sends um, extra stickers so you can reuse it. And it's so cool. So just know mine is a prototype on here. <laughs> the one that you would buy would be that laminated version that I just showed you. And $2. See, for, we're, we got to do a Renee challenge and it only cost me $2. <laughs> this is why I want to switch to an 
a five is because these would fit just perfectly in there um her official ones are a six size so they would fit in my envelope but i want to i don't want to waste so i want to use these up even though they are a prototype and that's why i am clipping them to this top of this envelope <laughs> in case you're wondering that's why <laughs> all right state fair let's move this out of the way this book I got from Brenda LaBelle. She is so sweet, and she made this just out of the kindness of her heart. She doesn't have a shop. So many people have wanted this. It is honestly the coolest thing ever. I'm not even going to lie. I think it's so cool. Um, so we're going to start off with this summer scratch off. Seven. Come on, lemon. Four. This is where a lot of my $1 bills go. <laughs> and three. I need that last time. I had that darn IOU because I got $11 from that nasty little lemon up there. <laughs> and I love that you guys all felt the same way too. It was a very sour lemon. All right, so the back side is one where I can roll the dice and pick a number. I'm going to do a different challenge just to spread the love around here. I have so many challenges to do. <laughs> yes, I want this one. Okay. And let's see, Carnival Fair, each icon equals, oh, do I have to do these ones too? Or do I scratch for a bonus? See, I love how she like sticks little, I bet those are little bonus ones in there. <laughs> Let's do the scratchies and see what we get. Four. So we're gonna do a five and take out a one. Two. The troll, I just love that troll. Three. Uh, we'll put in a five, take out the two. And what's this last one? Six. Whew, that troll. He's a feisty guy, but he has the blue hair, which is my favorite. Okay, we're getting low on money now. So we're going to stop with State Fair, but I love this. <laughs> so I think I could do a dollar and cross off this box here if I wanted. The beauty of this is I can do whatever I want, and I think it is so cool. So how much are we saving for the fair today? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-nine dollars is going to the state fair. And I have a lot of ones in here. <laughs> so far we have saved out of my goal of 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, fifty-five dollars. So you have one hundred and forty-five dollars more to go, which is fine because we still have at least three more paychecks beforehand. But I'm gonna have to start allocating some more money to that. All right, state fair is done. What do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Uh, we have to do my penny challenge. I told you guys I'm making sure I'm dedicating money towards it. <laughs> um, I could put all of it in there. Hmm. Yes, we'll do that today because we don't want these videos to be too long. But I really want to do my tic-tac-toe and I want to start off my scratch-offs that I've gotten from Ruben. Renee, I got those zombie ones, and Champagne, I have those creepy um, Halloween killers on a playground <laughs> and in a tree house. Oh my gosh, I have oh, my Hocus Pocus ones. There's so many good ones. I can't wait to just do a Halloween themed <laughs> scratch off. So let's put it in this penny save for now. We'll call it a day, it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to do blue to blue. 
let's do another green. All right, we round up. So we're going to put $8 in, even though it says $7.14. But rounding up gets us extra money. So this is a $667 challenge. We're going to save more than that, but this has been so slow and so slow for me. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 135 dollars. I have a long ways to go on this one, but I am determined to get it done, and I am determined to finish this. <laughs> I started it last year. Uh, okay, back on track. We're going to be doing okay. Um, it is the end of the month, so I am going to pull my tic-tac-toe money. Any um, savings challenge that is a never, like a no end date, it just keeps going and going and going. I pull the money at the end of the month to go towards sinking funds. So I am able to stuff this one into my bag of fun, completed challenges, tic-tac-toe. It's six dollars. It's not a whole lot, but it all adds up. I'm I have no problem collecting six dollars. If you have six dollars that you don't care about, you can send them my way. I'll take care of them for you. <laughs> but we finished so many challenges today. I didn't get to beavers today. I'm sorry, Liz. I'm sorry. I know. This is me on vacation and Cheers is like, where'd they go? We haven't seen them in a while. And I'm like, I know, I'll be back. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll be back, beavers. We'll be back. But I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I am going to one of my nephew's birthday parties tonight. And it'll be fun. So have a good one. Bye.